Acceso. ¿Cómo están? Tengo el placer de presentarles a Thunder, un hombre que viene desde Australia para practicar lucha libre y para demostrarnos de verdad de qué se trata este deporte y contarnos toda su vida, el cómo llegó hasta estas instancias y también tiene por ahí algunas broncas con uno que otro luchador, ya nos platicará porque les va a mandar unos mensajes ahorita para que estén muy atentos. How did you get started in lucha libre, in wrestling? You come from Australia. Yeah, it's a, it's a long story. Uh, I mean, growing up in Australia, uh, you have a lot of different sports. Uh, that you know you have accessibility to and uh, I didn't really get into wrestling until I was probably 21, 22 years old. When I finished playing rugby and doing other things I, uh, I was very interested in wrestling for a long time so I, was, I just thought maybe I'll start doing a little bit of Olympic, okay. Olympic wrestling and start yeah. training um, and then as I started to train I started to develop uh, more of a passion. Uh, I traveled over to Japan to gain some more experience training over there. When I came back again, uh, the one place I had in mind that I wanted to come, and that was here, in Mexico. So I made the decision to uh, come to Consejo Mundial and start training under the professors. Tell me something, why Thunder? Thunder was initially thought of uh, It was myself and Padron, the president of, C of Consejo Mundial de Lucha Libre. Uh, we initially thought because there's a saying in Australia, the thunder from down under. That's an, originally what we, uh, most Australians say, so we thought maybe thunder would uh, suit me very well with my style of wrestling and the, how aggressive I am. Um, we said, well, thunder probably suits me very well. Yeah. But how do you imagine your life, your future maybe, as a luchador, as a wrestler? My personal plan right now is to do as much as I can to, uh, uh, to develop myself here in, in Consejo Mundial. And I mean uh, some very big matches uh, coming up this year and next year. Uh, when I can retire some of these Mexican wrestlers, then we'll, th th then we'll talk about Maybe, uh, maybe we can take Consejo Mundial and we can start touring down under to Australia. And it's, it's, a, it's a very good possibility because there's a lot of wrestling fans in Australia and they haven't seen Mexicano Lucha Libre, not yet. But when, but when they do, uh, they're going to catch it very quickly. Yeah. Thunder, one last message for every Mexican fan that is watching you. Oh, man, I, to all the Mexican fans, I always say, I appreciate everybody that watches Lucha Libre in Mexico. Um, do everything you can to come into the shows and watch us because the product, especially Consejo Mundial, the product is continuing to get better and better and better. The fans are growing. So when they have a spare time, come down to Arena Mexico and enjoy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thunder. Uh, great friend, un gran amigo, Thunder. Y caramba, miren nada más este señor. Miren cómo se nos ve los brazos. ¿eh? <laughs> ya sabía, Thunder. Por eso es mi amigo este señor. Regresamos con ustedes, Jesse. Acceso.